Good morning, everybody. It's me, Cow Farm Update. I just finished a full harvest of this thing again. I've harvested it a couple times now. Look at this. Look at this. This farm is basically the best thing ever. This is definitely the best food farm that I've ever built. This is what it yields every single time about. It's like 45 to 55 leather and almost a stack of raw beef. Then I turn around, put it in the smoker right here, cook it up. It's so much profit. Food for literal days. And look at these cows. They have a small family too. It's so amazing. I also just got done with the harvest of this farm right here. I have to say, this farm is perfect. The cow farm takes two stacks of wheat to fully harvest, like feed all of the cows. This thing gets me like six stacks of wheat, something like that. This thing is perfect. And you know what's also perfect? The nether. In the last episode, instead of building one nether portal, we built four. And we built a building for the portals. In today's episode, for the very first time, we will be heading into the Minecraft 1.17 nether. Now before we go there, we have to gather everything that we're going to need. Uh, this is going to be rough, like pretty rough. I highly advise that you go to the nether you know, with a bow. There are things in the air. Ah, uh, those things in the air don't like me. And I don't even have enough string for a bow. Haha, <laughs> so... We don't need a bow. We never even needed one. We'll be fine. Now, I actually already have gold armor. I've been wearing it for a long time. This is gonna keep us safe from the piglins. This is my sword. This is my pickaxe. This is my shovel. This is my axe. I'm gonna bring those to the nether and this food and this stack of blocks so I can build. I will be bringing the diamond pickaxe in case we want to move the nether portal. I don't know if I'm going to. And then a flint and steel. Perfect. So, here goes nothing. Hopefully, we get a good nether spawn. And hopefully, we're not by the other nether portal. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, just about the worst spawn possible. Soul Sand Valley biome. Everything has bows and is ranged here. That's, that's great. great. Oh, oh, I hear it already. Brightness, bright. I still don't have Optifine for Minecraft 1.17, so this is gonna have to do. Now, uh, we have a simple goal today. The goal is quite simple. Get rid of all of the skeletons in the Soul Sand Valley, watch out for ghasts, and find every single nether biome. I don't think it will be too bad. Now, I think this fire is gonna burn forever, so we're just gonna light this up a little bit, make it a little bit safer here. That's how we're gonna spawn proof the portal. We're gonna do something different with the portal this time, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. Now, this is actually kind of perfect because the biggest thing that I needed to actually bring home from the nether today uh, was Soul Sand and it's right here so we don't actually have to worry about getting any of that right now aha aha interesting we don't need to worry about the soul sand we can get it on our way out and quartz is right there too which is amazing come, come down, down from here, here. you, you coward. coward come, come down, down from here, here. fight me yes perfect exactly like that exactly calm down it'll let me take a quick second just hold still there we go gas here number one we're gonna respawn the dragon eventually i don't remember how many gas tiers i need but like one that's definitely at least part of the way Oh yeah, this is perfect. It's your time to shine, Diamond Pickaxe. I brought the fortune Diamond Pickaxe so we could get some gold. I want to fill the treasure room uh, with gold and other nether things. This is perfect. We could also fortune quartz so we can start building some automatic farms. You know, like observers, things like that. That's perfect. And hey, hey is this biome number two? Um, no, it's Soul Sand Valley. I thought it was the nether waste. Speaking of quartz, here it is amazing. It's so good that we have fortune three right now. You don't want to waste any quartz at all. And, and look at this. We could never waste quartz. Not at all. The quartz is so valuable. It's the most precious thing to me, essentially. And we're fortunate. We're going to get so much quartz. So I don't want to bring too much attention to it because I feel like as soon as I do, uh, it's going to change. But there are like no mobs in the nether right now. And it makes me so happy. Like this is the worst place to be. And it it's so easy. I could stay here all day. Aha, uh -huh. so, so far, so good. I have found basically nothing. It's all just Soul Sand Valley. Tons of skeletons. Not really, that's only the second one. But over here, biome number two, finally. And this is such a useful biome, the Basalt Deltas. All that we need to do is get past the skeletons that are over here, which shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and just, yeah, okay, fine. You make me do everything myself. Everything myself, always. Why are you like this? The Basalt Deltas biome. Biome number two. I love this biome. This is honestly maybe my favorite nether biome now. Or the Warp Forest. That place is really cool still. But I love the Basalt Deltas. So we have to watch out for the Magma Cream in here. But I just realized something. Look at this. Fire Protection 3. That's good. I mean, it's not the best, clearly, clearly, but it's good. It's not bad. And hey, look at that. New recipe. So the Basalt Deltas is right here, which is great. It looks like there's a big open space. I'm guessing maybe a lava ocean. We need to keep moving. Of course, of course, though, Blackstone. We need to get some Blackstone to commemorate this special occasion. 
But honestly, at the same time, it never lived up to the hype. Like, I thought it would be so much better than it, than it was. Go back to 1.16 snapshots. I was so excited for this. Oh, I mean, it is nice, and I'm glad it's here. But it's just not Grimstone. It's just really not. Okay, so this is a really cool view right here. That is, like, amazing looking. But I don't think I can get down easily. Actually, what am I talking about? Of course I can get down easily. I just make a staircase right here. This is not that bad. I can get down. Okay, those are dangerous. Those are really dangerous. And that too. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to need to go somewhere else, I think, right now. Uh, it's not really working right here. Maybe like this corner. This could be a nice corner. I had a feeling this would be the difficult part. These slime things are so dangerous. They deal so much damage. The big ones. And then the gas too. Yeah, that's a no-go for me. And the gas is relentless. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I won't hurt you. You don't hurt me. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where this Basalt Delta goes. Maybe this is like one of the worst moves that I could have made, but it's fine. Look at this. It goes to, oh, yes, the Soul Sand Valley again. Yay. All right, so that was a big waste of time, and it was way more dangerous than it had to be. It wraps around to the Soul Sand Valley. Even more of this place. That's cool, though. That's definitely good to know. Uh, I found even more quartz down here, so I'm going to take a break and grab this quartz. And then I think what we're going to do is go the opposite direction, because it seems like there's a gigantic basalt deltas. I can't really tell what's past it. It looks like it might be another ocean because it's so big and open, but I'm not too sure. There's another quartz over here, though. Look at this stuff. It's amazing. My biggest 1.17 complaint of all time it has to do with quartz and copper. So obviously, we all know, to make one block of quartz, this is the recipe. Four pieces of quartz. Quartz is a decorational block, but not just a decorational block. One of the best ones of all time. It's really good. Of course, you can't use a quartz for a beacon. The quartz is an amazing looking block that is meant for building. That almost sounds like one of the 1.17 blocks. Ah, yes, copper. Copper, that's right. Copper isn't very useful for like ore things. It's useful for building. However, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. You need to get so many pieces of copper ingots, uh, so many copper ingots for one block, nine of them. I get it. It's consistent with the other ores, but copper isn't like an ore. It's an ore. Uh, okay. Yep. I butchered that one. I meant to say copper isn't like iron. There's no iron tools. It's not like gold or diamond, any of those at all. It's its own thing. It's so expensive to build with, and it makes me so sad. At least there's so much quartz. I have like a couple sacks of this stuff now. A dead end. I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. I was gonna make a bridge over there, but there's a skeleton. But a complete and total dead end. All that we have here is a fossil, which I will definitely take. I will take this too. I will take everything that I can get today. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. I can't remember. Do you need shears to get this stuff? No, you don't. That's right. This is so weird. Okay, so I think I'm making some progress. I got past that dead end point. I actually had to backtrack a little bit and loop around, but this spot over here is so promising. It is so open. Hopefully, it will go to the one of the forest biomes. We found the really cool place, but the other really cool place I haven't been able to find, like, anywhere. I think I have trouble finding it in this nether, too. Ah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, do you see that? Aha! Uh -huh. That's nice. That's really nice. But this is a problem. It's a dead end. Gigantic open dead end too. New plan. Backtrack and go a completely different way again. And hopefully this other new way will lead us to what we're looking for. The plan here is pretty simple. Eventually we're going to link up to all of the nether biomes if I can find them all. Like I'm imagining some kind of like highway. I think like a nether highway linking up to every biome so we can get there really, really quick. It's something that we actually don't even have in this world. Yeah, some kind of way to get to all of the biomes really quickly would be really, really nice to have. But I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it would be worth our time to try and get across the lava ocean or even make tunnels on the nether ceiling today. It's not worth it. Even something like this is incredibly painful and time-consuming. Digging tunnels through here blindly, I'm trying to hopefully come out on the other side of that ravine. Ah ha ha, one more block, that's perfect. I wanted to come out over here because of that skeleton. All right, very cool, buddy, very cool. That's enough, though. Mm-hmm, so this is a good area. I like this. If a gas were to spawn, I would be able to take it out easy, not a problem. But it's the Soul Sand Valley still. I'm pretty sure we've landed in essentially the biggest soul sand valley of my life. Like, this thing is never ending. It's gigantic. We will absolutely not be going to the nether ceiling today to find other biomes because look at this right there. There's another biome. 
it's the least one that I wanted to find, other than the nether wastes. But, oh, it's another biome. Here we go with the warped wood. That's amazing. I don't think I'm going to take very much warped wood today. That's so good, though, and hoglins. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, we found the biome already. I think we could leave. Okay, well, we can't leave that way. Wonderful, truly, really. I find a new biome, and you ruin it with fireballs. Burning the wood down? Come on. Okay, so this is a really good find. We have a crimson forest now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The gas won't stop. It won't leave me alone. And I can never hit the fireballs. So this is perfect. If we don't find a biome at this point, this is going to be the nether waste. But let's be honest, it's the nether waste and the warp forest. It's kind of tragic if we can't find the warp forest. Warp forest is one of my favorites. It's really, really cool. But look at this. I found another really interesting thing right over here by this other biome. This place. You know what this place is? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is another waste. The nether waste has been found too. There's so much glowstone over here, and I have fortune three. I don't know how I'm going to heal this pickaxe. I don't really want to use the diamonds on it, so maybe we'll have to get mending soon. But glowstone, we can fortune it and get so much glowstone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. This is not good. I'm out of space. Entirely out of space. I guess netherrack you can go, but salt is not very important. Glowstone. I have to stop picking up stuff. I'm not going to be able to carry very many more things. So it looks like the warp forest is over there again. Crimson forest, that's what I said the whole time. The warp forest is missing though. I guess I don't really need soul soil either because the nether portal is like right by in the soul sand valley. Crimson forest over there. We don't need to go there. So many resources over here. I'm going to have to come back to this spot right here and get these resources. So much nether quartz. It's like amazing. Crimson forest, crimson forest, nether wastes, nether wastes. Oh. <gasps> Oh, nether waste, yes, but Bastion, I'm just curious, there's no way I'm going to go down there, but I'm just curious, look at this thing, it's a Bastion, interesting, interesting, why so quiet, hmm, this would be a really bad idea, right, probably, mm hmm, uh, I hear them, yeah, I think this is a really bad idea, I probably, oh, they're over there, I know where this is. Big Lynn Brutes. What's wrong? So sad. It's so sad. You sound so upset. You've been in the boat for like months, you say? Oh, that's too bad. I, I really genuinely, truly feel so bad for you. Yeah, so that's going to be the one problem about everything that we do in the nether. When I reset chunks in this world, I reset overworld chunks, but not nether chunks. The bastions in this general area have all been looted. I want to find a new bastion. I really would like to check it out, experience it all for the first time with new gear and everything. But we're gonna have to go like really far away from this spot to actually be able to find that I was gonna say what is all this stuff on the ground? It's my stuff So yeah at some point we're gonna have to go really far away to actually find new bastions So we can actually check them out because all the bastions over here are still gonna be loaded in I figured it would be way too difficult to actually reset the nether chunks and not accidentally reset like an important tunnel or something like that So I just decided not to home sweet home negative 90 66 191 negative 90 Negative 90, negative 90 is going to be back this way. 191 is going to be this way. Home is diagonally that way. It's time to go back to the base. I can't carry anything else. And I have 40 levels, all of this stuff in my inventory. If I lost this stuff, that would be the end of the series. It would be over right now. I wouldn't be able to take it at all. So we need to get back. So I wonder if this Soul Sand Valley connects to the one by the portal. I'm pretty sure it does because we never really left the Soul Sand Valley much other than the Basal Deltas. But I wonder, like, is there going to be an easy way to get from the nether portal over to those biomes over there where we just were? Because that would be amazing. Okay, here's the tunnel that I made to go through uh, to get around the ravine. The skeleton is still there. I think we're here, like basically here, 191. Uh, this is 201 and then negative 90. The only problem is we're way too high up. So we actually started in the nether, like really close to the spot, I think. I feel like the portal should be like right down there or something. Uh, it's gotta be right over here. So how do I get down? Can I just jump? I think I could just jump. Yeah, like that. We're still way too high up though. Negative 87 is what I'm at right now. It has to be right down here. It has to be. I'm gonna be honest though. I don't know if I should jump that one. That looks a little far. We have to build down. Mm hmm. That's better looking. Let's go for it. 
Perfect. <gasps> there it is. There it is. We were right by there the whole time. If I made a staircase from there going right up, then I could go like straight over to the biomes or even maybe just go like this way and get over to the new biomes. It's so close and it's so easy. And all of this land connects, which makes it even easier to get back over to the portal. Not a safe spot at all. There's like nothing below the portal, basically. So close to the lava ocean. But you know, maybe, maybe this wasn't the worst nether spawn possible. Not bad. I think that's enough of the nether today, though. So I've been talking about this treasure room for a while now. What do I... Oh, really? Only two blocks of gold? Oh, that's terrible. I've been talking about this nether treasure room for like an episode now. What do I mean by it? Well, this is exactly what I mean by it. On the inside in here, in the middle, we pile tons of nether things. Like gold blocks, definitely nethery. Quartz blocks, for sure. They look so good. I think we could probably do stuff like blackstone too. Blackstone is definitely nethery. Also soul soil. Gonna have to go back to the nether to get some of that. Soul sand too. Like just basically a giant heap of nether stuff. Even more quartz. Glowstone, which is actually gonna be perfect because it's gonna light this whole spot up. It makes it a little bit more crowded in here, definitely, for sure. But I think something like this is going to be good. Eventually, once I can get more good things, like we're talking more gold, maybe even netherite, I'll pile that in here too. A lodestone could be pretty cool. But for now, a simple pile like this is perfect. I also grabbed some of these crimson roots. I think these could look nice uh, around the portal right here. And then also, netherrack. If we have netherrack on the ground, like spilling out of the portal, I think that's going to finish this area off perfectly. It's going to look like the nether is kind of spilling through the portal, which is something that I love the sounds of. So we're going to put netherrack in here. Oh yeah, I filled that in, by the way. But yeah, like a little bit of netherrack on the ground spilling out of the portal away from it. And then these crimson plants on the ground too every once in a while. They're going to match the sweet berries really, really well. And it's going to look so cool. You know, I just noticed something else really, really weird. So you can't put crimson roots on netherrack because no, that wouldn't make sense. But grass? Yeah, definitely. That's fine. That's, that's good. You know, this is actually such an amazing combination. Why have I never used this before? Sweet berries with the crimson roots? Like it looks so good. You know what? This hill is bothering me. And so, after a little bit more terraforming, we end up with something that kind of looks like that. The Nether. A very successful trip to the Nether. We found almost every biome. So much quartz. Like, plenty of this stuff. We'll be able to set up so many automatic farms now. Nether rack, Nether wood, and glowstone. Sweet, sweet glowstone. You know, I should probably smelt all of this gold up that I have too. It's just sitting in my storage building. I don't really want to end up with stacks and stacks of unsmelted stuff. So I might as well smelt it. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no breaking the door. Episode, I still need a new book here. This book is getting so long. Enchanting is horrible in Minecraft. I always do enchanting last as a decorative thing. Trading halls are the only way to go. They take some of your time, then you'll never touch your enchanting table again. You know, uh, this reminds me of uh, an Etho episode. I was watching Etho uh, somewhat recently. I don't remember the episode where he said it, uh, but he said something about how buying things from villagers is kind of game breaking. And honestly, I agree. I really agree. I kind of agree with your comment. I definitely agree with the fact that villager trading definitely game breaking like especially how it is now don't get me wrong i like it it is uh, really really easy it's nice to be able to get a mending villager very very easily but uh you can just place the workstation on and literally re-roll the trade zero risk at all and get every single like uh enchanting that you wanted you could do that over and over and over again and get every single enchantment that you would want and i think that's actually honestly kind of game breaking i really like it at the same time so it's like do you want it to stay uh do you not but it's so game breaking and same with other villager trading honestly like it's really good and I, and I love villagers and the trading and everything like that but the fact that you could literally set up a like an automatic farm bamboo farm sell six to the villager and just get profit and then just literally buy everything else in the game that you would ever need that's kind of weird if you think about it it's essentially creative mode and survival uh etho put it really well that comment reminded me of it perfectly yeah i feel like there needs to be another villager update but what do you think? Do you think villager trading is perfect how it is, or would you change it? Let me know down below. Thank you all for participating in episode 142 of the guide. Uh, for some reason, my um, glow berries are not growing. So uh, if anybody knows why, could you please uh, let me know about that down below? Uh, like, subscribe, links in the description. Modus says they miss you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.